Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a handbag review, which this is so old school YouTube for me. I missed it so much. I'm gonna be doing it on my two Gucci Marmont bags and I have one in the medium size and the mini. So when I had revealed this bag, back last year i think it's been around 10 months i'm not quite sure when i had revealed this i had talked about how it did i don't i didn't know if it was going to make sense to do a review between the two because there is a size in between that's missing which is the size small but a lot of you guys did want me to do the review i just never really got around to doing it and now that i've owned this for a while i feel like i can i'm basically i'm not going to do in-depth review i'm just going to share with you guys what fits in both of them like go from this bag to this bag and sort of talk about when i'm wearing either of these in what situation which one makes more sense for me and the more i started to think about the doing the review video i was like well i was somebody that wanted a mini and a medium so i'm sure there's other people that wanted a mini and a medium so it makes sense so here i am doing it today and i wanted to quickly talk about the actual style of the bag i feel like i've talked about this before and i kind of feel like i sound like a broken record but this bag was super super popular not this one in particular, but just the Marmont collection in general it was super, super popular when it had come out. I feel like there was a huge frenzy. You saw it everywhere. You could not open your Instagram or any social media without seeing something from the Marmont collection, whether it was a belt. I think it blew up with the belts and then the handbags and the handbags started coming out in like different colors and it just like everyone was just going nuts. Gucci sort of blew up. I was immediately drawn to the Marmont collection. I absolutely adore it. If you liked this style of bag only for the sole purpose of it being an it bag, then I understand why it might seem passe to you now. This isn't, it's not that it's not a popular bag anymore. I still think it's popular. A lot of people still love it and it has a very classic silhouette, obviously, but I do feel like if you were only buying it for the sole purpose of it being popular, I see why you would get sick of it because the emblem is very big and loud and you know quirky and I think that's what's sort of fun about it but if you're like me and you just fell in love with this collection and you felt like it was just a very functional style for you and there are certain features about this bag that you can't really get from I'm just gonna compare it to Chanel which I have before from a Chanel flat bag then you'll just love it forever I feel like this style is very timeless and it's fun and like I said it's quirky and I think years and years down the line when people might think this is extremely passe I personally think that they're just gonna be kind of sought after years and years down the road once they stop making them if they do which I'm pretty sure they will but I just feel like it's just such a fun cool collection and I'll just never get over it I think Alessandro is brilliant genius super super creative so I just think they're fantastic so I just wanted to start the video off with my two cents on the actual styles and collection of the bag here are my two and here's the size difference just so you guys could see pretty big size difference between the mini and the small it's not that much of a size difference so that's kind of why I haven't you know dove into the thought process of getting a small yet if I got a small it would 100% be a different color let's go ahead and get into what I usually put in here so the main thing that I always have in here is my wallet which is my clay I have all my cards inside of here and my keys are attached to this just very easy for me and convenient and I've just not not used a full-size wallet in so long I just feel like it's so irrelevant for me next thing I will put in here is my phone I have the 8 plus just in case anyone was wondering I'm gonna take a couple lip products so I will take my Fenty lip balm thing and a baby lips chapstick and what else i mean honestly when i'm using this bag this is pretty much it i could pop in a little fragrance rollerball this is the elizabeth james nirvana so i just popped in the rollerball and then i'm gonna pop some sunglasses in right at the top and it closes perfectly without any issues it's not bulging honestly this is me packing it to the brim I don't really pack it more than this and I don't really feel the need to 
when I'm wearing this bag, it is when I'm being minimal and sort of just taking my phone, wallet, keys, and a lip product. And if I'm outside and we're doing something out and about, my sunglasses are on my face, but they do fit in here if I don't feel like wearing them anymore. I even sometimes take this bag with me to work at least once or twice a week when I just don't feel like schlepping a big bag and I don't feel like the need to bring a big bag. The only other thing that I'm carrying with me is my lunch. I haven't really been needing my laptop because I do work behind the scenes now for the company that I work for. I'm not really on the floor anymore as much. So I do work in the office aspect. So I don't really need so, so much with me. The size is really, really phenomenal. I will also say in comparison to the Chanel mini rectangular this fits more because it's more smushy and the Chanel mini I really just have to definitely think about where we're going and how I'm gonna pack my bag it's just a, a lot more cumbersome than this bag this bag's just way more roomy and it just stretches to pretty much anything that I put in it and I will say right off the bat I use this bag more than my medium if this is my daily bag that I'm using for the week then obviously this bag gets more use but I don't use this bag every single day. I like to switch out my bags. I've been training myself to switch out my bag at least every four to seven days because I just want to get the use out of my bags. So when this bag is in rotation, then I am using it. But I do find myself when we when I am using this bag and let's say I'm going I'm coming home from work and Matt's like, let's go out to dinner. I take my main things out of this bag, which would be my keys, my clay, my phone, and a lip product, and pop it in that mini, and I'll take that bag to dinner. And then the next day, I'll put all that stuff back in here to use this for work. There are times where I'll just grab this and I'll take it, you know, shopping or to dinner or whatever it is. It's still a really cute dressy bag, but I just don't use it as much as the mini. The mini is just such a convenient bag for me. So now I'm going to be putting all this stuff into the medium and also sharing with you guys what else fits in the medium when I want to bring more with me. So here is the medium. I'm going to put my keys and card holder in the back zip pocket with my couple of lip products. I'm going to be putting in the main compartment my mini pochette which this actually fits in the mini bag too. You just have to then sort of play with what you need. I don't need it with me every single time I leave the house. Here's my little Goyard passport holder wallet. I just use that for receipts and some other cards that I don't like to keep in my card holder. Then here is my body splash. Here's a little mini, this is my Gucci Bloom lotion, but I'm using it as to, sh to show you like a mini perfume and that's with the body splash. <laughs> And let's see, a phone, nail file, and sunglasses just right at the top. And then if you want an extra rollerball perfume, I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like in there. This bag holds a lot. I can even also fit my camera um, as well in here if we are going out and doing something where I'm vlogging. That's another thing. If, we, if I am vlogging or if I plan on taking my camera with me, I will bring a bigger bag. So that's that would be one of the reasons why maybe I would grab this bag over the mini. If I'm going to be excessive and if I do need to take my planner with me to work, which I just have this really cute cheap one from Target. It's so fantastic. I've been trying the spiral planner and I've been really, really liking that system. I'm going to put this in the back but I have to put it down because it's hurting my arm. Definitely being excessive and it's kind of almost not closing, but it does. It does. This is a very, very rare occasion for me to bring that with me to work. It usually just sits at home. So I'm just going to take it out because I don't want to stress my bag, but it does fit. And of course, an MM agenda would fit in here perfectly fine. So that's this packed. Now, when I wear this bag, like I said, it would be if it's on my weekly rotation of bags. But for some reason, when I'm using a bigger bag during the week, no matter what pack it is, even my St. Laurent Lou camera bag, which is one of my smaller sort of medium sized bags, I still will take my main stuff out, pop it in this before we like go to dinner or whatever. This bag just always is one of my moods. Like it just easily, works with any of my outfits and it always just makes my outfit look super cute because it has the chain but then it also has a relaxed look to it too so that's kind of my gist between the two i'd say depending on your lifestyle whatever sounds more like what you need like if you need more stuff with you on a daily obviously the medium is going to work out for you better but if you are more minimal and you have been loving the mini handbag sort of vibe 
and you do buy more mini handbags. I don't think it's excessive to get the Marmot mini as well. So like I said, I have been contemplating even getting the small. And if I did get another color from this bag, I do think it'll finally be the nude one, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know if a flat bag is something I really need going forward, at least for a while, because you know, I'm gonna have a baby. I really think if I'm gonna use any of my flat bags, it's gonna be the mini and I'm just gonna carry everything in the diaper bag just to keep it really minimal. Another really good thing that I've talked about before with this bag when I did a review is that comparing it to the Chanel mini, this does have the four holes on it. So you kind of have the option to wear it either crossbody or just right over your shoulder, which is super trendy at the moment, just little cute small shoulder bags and then also too this has this leather piece in between the chain which is way more comfy than the Chanel mini chain when you pack that bag especially if you I, I don't know I personally I've had the square mini with the lambskin and a really pretty reddish color and that bag seemed lighter to me than the caviar so the caviar when I pack that bag it like just it's just it really weighs and digs into my shoulder and I don't need that, especially being pregnant. So this, if I had to choose between the two, obviously the mini is just the winner. Like I said, going back to wanting another size, as much as I'd want the small, I'd even consider getting a mini, which I don't even know if the mini exists in the nude color. I believe it's just a super mini. I haven't really even researched or looked. I would get another color in the mini or get a small. So this size is fantastic. It is a beautiful everyday sort of bag and like i said unless you need the room it's not 100 percent necessary i got this solely off of being so in love with the mini that i figured that i would be super in love with the big size and i look at this bag and i see it on other people and i am so in love with it on other people and it makes me want to use it that's why i keep it in rotation but again once the baby's born i don't see myself grabbing a large flap bag it just doesn't make sense to me if i'm gonna be wearing a large bag i think a top handle open zip like my balenciaga bag is just gonna work out better for me i truly love this collection still i personally think that the styles are very timeless um it being obviously very reminiscent of a chanel flat bag just with a more quirky sort of not as serious design so yeah that's my two cents on the two sizes i don't know if i made that more confusing or if easier for someone that might be debating between the two. I feel like going into deciding between the two, it's straight up based off of your lifestyle and what you think you're going to use more and what style of bag is more useful for you in that size. So for me, like I said, in this size, I prefer a top handle open easy type of bag because of just the convenience of going in and out of it. And then for <laughs> this size bag, this has just been such an amazing fun little mini bag it's so easy to just pop open and grab my phone and grab my wallet and literally can go from day to night these both can go from day to night just depends on your lifestyle and what style sort of works for you so that's it i love them both i don't know um, if I'm going to end up with a third, I still lust over wanting or at least trying the size small. But then I don't know if that would even make sense because I love the mini so much. So I don't know if I would still grab the mini over the small and I should just get another mini. So we'll see. But yeah, that's my comparison video between these two babies. I hope this was helpful and not confusing at all. And I hope you guys liked it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.